Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. In tonight's episode, I just want to discuss Funfair, and that's another really exciting technology that I've had my eye on for a while now, and um, I'm going to discuss the online gambling market they're trying to break into and the technology behind the platform. So, basically, they are the world's fastest Ethereum casino platform, but they're building on top of the Ethereum network with some exciting technology off to the side of their own that they've developed. So... I'll discuss that as we move forward, but um, the team's got a um, long history in um, online gambling. But this Funfair token has multiple use cases, so it can be traded on exchanges, used to play on their platform, and I'll talk about the other use cases it has as well. So, as always, I'm looking for the quality of the team. Um, they've got about 20 members now, um, UK-based team, but the founder and CEO Jez Sands got a long history in online gambling, gaming, and cryptocurrency. So. He's tied those three passions together with that team behind him to produce a really exciting project that I think has got every chance of being successful. So the angle they're going for is um, a fun platform but provably fair and I'll talk about how that's the case in the technology as we move forward. So their roadmap here, they've obviously already had their first, um, the first round of their ICO which raised $26 million dollars. On their site here, you can see what they're putting that money towards. The next round of funding is due to come up in September, I believe. So keep an eye on that if you want to get in on the action. But I've already got working um, releases of um, Blackjack and Baccarat. So more games to come. Um, the, I'll to discuss the Fate Channel technology they're, they're, um, they're implementing and rule let out now as well. But obviously plenty more games to come in the future. I think we're going to see some excitement start to build around this when they demo the platform at DevCon 3. Um, but obviously, we're looking for that um, official public release early next year to really bring, start to bring in um, the, the revenue for users and that. So The platform itself. So the Funfair token, um, once it's in your wallet and you've got that MetaMask extension, okay, you don't have to deposit to, to, the, to the platform, which traditional online gambling sites need you to get your credit card, deposit funds, okay, that all takes time, so as long as you've got Funfair tokens in your wallet, you can play, and this platform's got several advantages, so the fund tokens are used um, in their platform directly and burn, the same as we see um, gas being burned for Ethereum contracts, and rather than running directly on the Ethereum platform, which requires a lot of gas get burned and a high transaction fees, okay, especially if we're doing lots of um, lots of transactions per second, then scalability is that issue that all cryptocurrencies are facing, but these fake channels that they've developed, I've spoken about lightning networks and side channels and anything that works off to the side of the main network then links back up later, and that's basically what they've developed, so... You can play thousands of um, thousands of games, thousands of transactions per second, thousands of users, and then at the end of their session, okay, that all links back up with the main blockchain. It's provably fair, so if something's meant to pay out 20% of the time, you can check on the blockchain that it has paid out 20% of the time, and then your balance is, of fund tokens is instantly settled, whether that's paid out to you or taken out of your wallet and the rest deposited back. So that fund token can also be used to pay game developers and I know they're encouraging outsourcing and development of as many games as possible. Um, it is used when settling the network in those transaction fees. They can use it as they want to use um, existing casino online platforms and infrastructure to encourage them to adopt and use their gaming platform. Affiliates can be paid out instantly for referring players um, and I've already spoken about players being obviously paid out in fund tokens for their winnings. So. An exciting platform, um, some some great technology on top of the Ethereum blockchain itself, and as always, it matter what matters most is if players are going to like this this platform. And I'll just click on. Um, they've obviously got blackjack, uh, baccarat, roulette, craps, a lot of slot machines, and traditional casinos use a lot of slot machines for their revenue, but. The, the next versions of those fate channels, if we have a look in the roadmap, they're talking about the next versions of fate channels, okay? They want to get it down to the fine details. So even the the dice rolling on the table or the, the ball rolling around this wheel is random, okay? So they want to do that on those, those random number generators they use, but ra the next versions are going to 
be using technology that even makes this difference. So it doesn't look the same each time and then just end up in a number. So the, the way it bounces around the wheel and even those finest details, they want it, this to be a really fun user experience. So I'll just click on this one. Um, I'll let it load up and I just want to talk about my Ether wallet for a second because I'm doing a lot of one-on-ones with you guys at the moment. They're still not understanding that myetherwallet.com is the official Ethereum um, wallet, but you can house all your tokens. So whether it be Funfair or um, Aga, um, Gnosis, all those different ERC20 official tokens, a lot of them that I've talked about, can all be sent to your My Ether wallet under the same address. So you don't, have, if you own 20 different Ethereum tokens, you don't have to muck around with 20 different Ethereum addresses. And they're obviously starting to build in some really exciting other features into this wallet as well. Um, even enabling the purchase of tokens directly from the wallet. But familiarize yourself with my Ether wallet, guys, if you haven't already and you're using Ethereum or any Ethereum tokens. So let's just go back to um, Pirate, one of the slot machines that these guys have um, developed. So this interface doesn't actually um, even use your traditional sort of website um flash players and that sort of thing. So this 3D, nice, clean, high definition interface is all from funfair.io's development. So I've turned off the sounds and the music, but these guys obviously have done their research and they, they know what's attractive and how to get users um, to, to keep playing and keep clicking. And I encourage you to go to the lobby, go to showcase.funfair.io, have a play around with these games and familiarize yourself with it as it's all in testnet, but this is going to be hopefully online um, in the first quarter of next year. So plenty of competition, as always, I speak about There's what can go wrong with these projects. So they are developing that fate channel technology still, still in sort of a bit of a test net phase. Plenty of others that are trying to break in this space, even in the Ethereum um, space itself, competition-wise, as well as that traditional online gaming platforms, but I think this project's got a good team, um, every chance to succeed, and I've owned this one for a while now. So, as always, thanks for tuning in. Give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please share these videos around, and as always, thanks for tuning in, guys.